Welcome to my porch. As you can see, I'm cleansing the energy to make sure there's no negative vibes lurking around while we talk. I do it before all my videos. I smudge my room, connect, and ask for a little guidance as to connecting with you. I always ask that they try to make me funny. <laughs> to make people laugh even in the dark, because we have to. <laughs> we can't stop being human, and we need to express our humanness and not mask it. This is part of the plan, and it's all to dehumanize us. And You couldn't tell here, because here in Saskatchewan, I'm not seeing a lot of people with masks. I'm not. It's very odd. Um, Safeway mandated that there are people wear masks, and that's actually was part of the reason I stopped going there, and I now walk a long way, and I'm getting a hell of a workout and a great set of abs, by the way. <laughs> Thanks, Safeway, because you know what? They were murdering their own staff by making them wear a device that inhibits their very humanness. Number one, breathing. <laughs> and number two, connecting with the customers and the people around them. And each other, creating robots. It's not good, my friends. And of course, I stopped subjecting myself to it. And in fact, if I see, and honestly, I don't see anyone pushing masks on my feet. I blocked one the other day. Didn't block, unfriended. And That's it. I have really closed the door to allowing that influence in my life. It's wrong. And of course, on my side, I'm seeing all of you distributing information about wearing masks and it's continual. And I also had to separate myself from that too, because again, we're feeding it. I can't believe my friends in Ontario are having to endure this absolute psychological assault with the mandating of masks. It is inhuman. It is. And it's meant to demoralize us. Just like the isolation, okay? It's all designed to strip layer by layer away until they've got putty. And if you subject yourself to any level of it, you're playing in. I'm not gonna do that. I do keep up, I, I, I listen to Trudeau every once in a while, I beeline in for what I need and I get out fast. <laughs> because it is honestly, if, if again, if you're listening to any level of it, you are, you're victim of it. I've said it before, and I'm going to say it again. Blocking yourself off from the negativity is absolutely key. It's something you must do. I know energetically I am criticized for drawing some pretty strong boundaries every once in a while. <laughs> I'm an empath. So I honestly, I can feel energy behind that keyboard. I can. And I know how some 
people think of me. But it's protection, my friends. You've got to protect yourself within your boundaries. And again, this is a spiritual battle. And if you are going to come out of this assault yourself within your mind, that's doubtful. And the NWO is counting on it. And that is why the media is working in tandem with all of the entities to keep us beaten psychologically. Block. Years ago, when I had my company and I finally had to take on employees, I can tell you the first time I had to fire someone, it was horrifying. I went over it for a week before it happened. She was a cancer in my business <laughs> and she had to go. And honestly, I, I ripped myself apart I tried everything, it wasn't working. I put myself through torture for this girl who didn't give a shit. And the day I fired her, it was like the minute she left the building, it was this whoo, like flash of light. And that was the last time I feared getting toxicity out of my world. Facebook is society. And the whole idea of society and this whole construct of society is to keep you in the box. <laughs> so you can act or think authentically. That's what it's all about. When you remove that, <laughs> liberation occurs. Some people believe they can't live without society. And I think that's all in your mind. I think we create societies and today we have the ability to create societies of like-minded individuals that we're not finding in where we live and in the circles that we're part of. Last year I pretty much removed myself from any circle I was ever part of. <laughs> And I never really was part of any circles. I, I don't like that limitation. <laughs> I really don't. As a traveler, what was interesting for me, every year I go away, I, you know, and I come back. And again, we're here all year. And then in the summer, you might run into somebody. And you find that nothing has changed in their life. Nothing. And again, that's what the NWO is counting on right now, is that you're going to change nothing. You're going to hold on tight to everything you got. When we probably shouldn't be doing that. That should probably be the last thing we're doing. This time in isolation, again, was meant to reset you coming out into the new world. And for most people, and a lot of people, they sat back and watched Netflix and did nothing really. Just collected the check. Reality still hasn't hit a lot of people. They're still thinking that social distancing will end. They're not understanding the program that is upon us. And this is medical martial law. <laughs> Freedom is fleeting, my friends, and it's time to align. And to me, aligning with where you actually belong is the first step to it all. Because if you're still hanging with the old crowd and they've started wearing masks and you don't align, It's meant to divide you. It is. And 
it's not going to be a matter of respect. You've seen how fast they've turned. And they're going, to, they're going to go further to the other side. It's time to align with people that are of your mind and of the same beliefs. Because we're going to need each other coming up. I live outside of it. I do. And I see on social media. 99% of the problem is the engagement with the unenlightened. <laughs> it is. It's frustration. It's anger. And it's propelling negativity into the peaceful world you're trying to create. On our feeds, it provokes emotion that... We don't need to feel because we are outside of that. We think differently than that. And we're gonna, we're gonna need to hold on tight to that. We are. And that is, just like my Palo Santo, cleansing our environments of anything that can dim our light. You see, we have truth on our side, and that is our light. We know it's coming. So it's time to arm up, because peace is going to be the objective of this game, of this psychological attack on our souls. Whatever spirituality you embrace, it's time to embrace it. And if you don't currently, you might want to hop on board and learn how I've developed mine. We need to find and connect with those people that align with where we are in this journey. And that is key to finding peace within and enlightenment. I believe we're all here at this particular time for a reason. And those that agree that there's something bigger at play, you'd be right. I want to help you connect with whatever it is because it's only that way that we get out of the fear. We can see who the programmed are. It's easy. And within your networks, you know exactly who they are. Don't subject yourself to the influence because the darkness its job is to dim the light and protection is key.